storm and crazy rain. I'm currently sheltering in the porch of our camp lodge. I arrived in Masai Mara after a nine hour drive from Nairobi about an hour ago. We just checked into our room. We're in tent number 23. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of our tent and just show you what you can expect from like a five star camp at the Masai Mara. I'm gonna keep this video really short and sweet just to show you the tent because I'm also vlogging like our game drives and we leave for a game drive in about half an hour. It's all very rushed today. The drive from Nairobi was supposed to take six hours and it took nine. We almost missed lunch. We have 15 minutes to grab something to eat. We've just checked in, got completely like rained upon <laughs> and we need to quickly get changed and charge up all our batteries because the electricity, like they turn it off between like two every couple of hours in a day, just like to save on energy. Um, so we only have like 45 minutes or whatever to charge our devices. This is just, I think, where's what? Oh, that was weird, I thought he opened the door. Okay, okay, so, I'm not gonna step out in the rain and show you, but I'll show you what you see as you enter. As you can see, it's chucking it down right now. It's quite a long walk back to like the main reception area and the lobby area. That's the only place where you get Wi-Fi. And there's a bar, there's a restaurant. They have a bonfire in the evening and like, and all these other bits which I'll show you at a later date. This is our tent, so you walk up the path and there is a roof, luckily, in our porch. That's the Maasai River down there. So I think there's like water hippos, but they stop them from coming in to like the hotel grounds with like an electric like fence or whatever. This is our room, the door's already open. As you walk in, look at this beautiful bed. Oh, there's Joe. <laughs> It's so dark in here. There's not that many plug sockets, so we wanted to charge up our phones and camera batteries and things like that for Safari. So we have turned a few of the lamps off just to use the plug sockets, but this is like the huge bed in the middle. And as you can see, we're literally staying in a tent. Like, can I call this glamping? I don't know. <laughs> There's Jess with his new hat. There's two armchairs here with a little side table. I'm sure this would be a very pretty view, like, you know, when it's not raining and dull. And we have a lamp in the corner, which again, I think we've turned off, <laughs> a fan. And in this corner, there's a desk and slash dressing table with a lamp. Again, my camera battery is charging on the floor, so the lamp is off. There's a kettle, I've just got my contact lenses in. Kettle and like tea, coffee making facilities. I'm pretty sure this drinking water Oh yeah, it's complimentary, so that's great. You get two bottles, one each. You get somewhere to put your luggage here. There's a nice little rug on the floor as well, because sometimes, I guess it can get quite cold putting your bare feet on the ground as soon as you wake up. But this bed looks really cozy. I know this looks really fancy, but I think this is actually like a mosquito net to protect you. And again, there's a lamp here, somewhere to put your suitcase. As you walk through here, this is the bathroom. It's really weird, because it's like not a door, it's just a curtain, but you walk in through here, you only have hot water between 5am and 9am and 5pm and 9pm, so I guess just when you need it. There's a toilet there, which I'm sure you don't really need to see. Um, this again is all part of the tent. And here we have a sink, the double mirror. Oh, this is great, you can do your makeup here. I've just noticed this. <laughs> Very happy about that. There's also some mosquito repellent or insect killer. Okay, great. Um, and here we have some hand wash, mosquito repellent, which is very handy, a couple of shower caps, and body lotion. And there's like a whole selection of towels here, which is great. The safe here for your valuables, a hair dryer, somewhere to like hang your wet clothes, I guess. And I'm sure there must be like shower gel in here. Let's go and have a look. Oh, yeah. I thought there might be. So there's body wash and shampoo, which is great in case you don't bring your own. And yeah, the bathroom's really nice, and I love the little stool as well. There's obviously also a dustbin. And then, as you can see, it's really spacious. I'm not looking forward to going out in this thunder though. <laughs> and I will we'll do like a 360 of the room in daylight as well, but I wanted to show you because we've just checked in, and before we like mess it up with our belongings, I thought now would be a good time. I haven't quite figured out how we get out of here. Do you know, Jess? Oh, okay. right. I think that you unzip this. Oh, yeah. 
You're outside? Okay. This is great. Oh my god. It's not outside deck. This is really cool. And there's like a big sort of like a what's that called? A love seat or whatever. A seat for two people. A little table out there. A great view of the Mara River out there. But yeah, so for now I'm gonna zip this back up because I've heard there's lots of mosquitoes here and tetsy flies and so yeah there we go the porter did say that he comes back in the evenings to shut the blinds or however he does that he does that for us which is great so yeah okay so yeah that's a very speedy tent tour i will show you the lobby area and the dining area and stuff like that a bit later on but right now i'm shooting off my very first game drive and i'm so excited i just wish it wasn't thundering and raining outside <laughs> I think last night I was too shattered to notice whether there weren't like any creepy crawlies in the room and just said that he could see some flies which I wasn't very pleased about. I've just seen a gecko or a lizard in my room and I've screamed so loud that my throat now hurts but I thought I'd give you like a quick room tour and just show you what it's like to stay here. We are here for two nights so we've only got one more night to go and I filmed breakfast for you already this morning. I'll try and film lunch and dinner just to give you an idea. This camp was like highly recommended because it's good for vegetarians because I guess not every where caters for them whereas here they do and I guess a lot of Indian people come here because they have like, like all different sorts of cuisines but they have like a, a really big Indian section as well which was good the meals here are really nice and everyone's super friendly as they are everywhere in Kenya to be honest but yeah I'll show you the room tour now and I'll show you a few bits that I probably missed out yesterday or I couldn't that you couldn't see because it was too dark but you'll have to excuse the room because it is a complete tip now that we've obviously unpacked and things like that <laughs> as you can see it's obviously a lot brighter today as you walk in it's a really nice and sunny day and we've got like a few of these um side panels open Jas has just opened these three up for us and he saw a monkey in the trees earlier this morning i was feeding the birds we had breakfast while listening to the hippos splashing around in the water that's the maasai river um outside here it runs all along the sort of outside of this property but let me just unzip this and hopefully not see any more creepy crawlies and take you outside we have a table and chairs here it's really nice because actually it's quite private from our neighbours who are kind of around the corner. That's the river, that little brown patch, <laughs> it's not very clean, that runs all along here. This little yellow sign that you can see here is like an electric fence to keep all the wild animals out of the property, which is good. <laughs> I don't want to wake up, open my door and be faced with a lion. <laughs> um, and obviously we have like another neighbour there which we can't see and we have this like huge seat here, it's great. <laughs> Those are the hippos and that's the sounds we could hear all night. It's so funny. This resort does have a pool because you have quite a lot of like downtime between your game drives because you have one at sunrise and one at sunset usually. I'll give you a little tour of the pool and actually we are so lucky because so I think there's 49 tents from all the signposts that I've seen around like the property and we're in tent number 23. Jess? Yes. 23. Yeah. So we're a quite a short walk away from like the main lobby restaurant bar area but also we're right opposite the pool if we wanted to use it i just feel like it's a beautiful resort don't get me wrong like it's great but in places like this i don't like using the pool just because 
There are too many creepy crawlies for me to deal with with my clothes on. Never mind off. The pool does look great. So I'm going to go and give you a little tour of that now. Oh, there's two little antelopes. They're gonna get electrocuted if they try and get out. Yeah. No, having an Indian lunch. Oh yeah. Jesse's having oh what did you do? Oh like two roast chicken well not roast chicken, grilled chicken. Mm. Roast potatoes, chickpeas and cabbage. It's actually really good. And these are like really hot. Yes. Didn't quite get to have breakfast with giraffes so we're having lunch with crocodiles. So I have a Manchester pie. <laughs> no idea what that is for dessert. I've got just an apple terrine. It just looked really pretty. There we go. It's a better look. Banana and pineapple strudel. I'm not gonna like any of these. I just like to try bits of everything when it comes to dessert because it just looks all fancy. And just a bit of melted chocolate because they have these all the time. And it's just great for your little sweet fix. 